So I'm Nate Gallagher, driver of the 71N for the 300PA Micro Series. And um, I started racing by my dad finding out about the series. And I saw pictures of it and videos of it and I got really interested in it. And so I, I learned about the series more as I saw. And it looked really fun to me. So my dad started um, talking about are talking with Chad Baker and Richie Dobson about it and I thought it was really cool so my dad let me start in it with R Rowdy Hafner's car I got to start out with and yeah that's really basically how we started. So I'm uh, Mike Gallagher, driver of the 55X and the PA Micro Midgets 500 class um, and so starting out with Nate at the same time um, not sure if it was it was uh, a craziness that uh, caused us to do this or not, but we both started at exactly the same time in the two different classes. And uh, I had done a little street stock racing prior to this, but ultimately wanted to be in a class where I could uh, build relationships within the group, um, understand the sport, learn from others. Uh, as Nate had mentioned, getting to know uh, Chad and Richie, uh, they kind of propelled our interest in the series. Um, spent a lot of time talking to Lance on the phone before we even purchased the vehicle um, and uh, he really educated me on the on the series and so uh, you know kind of starting a little bit late last year to, due to COVID uh, we just sort of jumped right in uh, had an opportunity to visit a number of tracks um, really feel the cars out start to figure out how to tune them um, and I would say you know honestly the, the best part of this has been uh, building friendship and uh, teamwork together um, and Andrew Dietrich has done a lot of work with us on that uh, to help us get the car set. Um, I may be behind the wheel most of the time, although he is occasionally, uh, but uh, honestly it's one of those things where it's tr truly a team effort and uh, I know he's looking out for the both of us and, and uh, each and every weekend. So just having a blast in the series and uh, very excited to be able to support the series as well. So as Mike said, my name is Andrew Dietrich and it has been absolutely a blessing to be part of this series. Um, I, I guess you could say a crew chief, turn wrenches. I won't say crew chief because I am not that good. Um, but I turn wrenches for both Nate and Mike's cars, and it has been just an absolute huge amount of fun. Um, it's been stressful at times. I can't lie, you know, trying to uh, get both cars set, trying to watch both on track at the same time while thinking of what to do with the other one. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know how Chris Hackendorn does it his, by himself with both cars. I at least have a little more help here. Um, but I bring some background to it from some of the other open wheel cars that I've worked on. Uh, I've crewed for the Super Sportsman and I've also crewed for 358 Sprint Car Team. Um, but this wingless stuff, it's uh, some of it relates, but it definitely, there's a lot that it's just all new territory. Um, but it has been good to be able to bring some of that uh, to the table as well. Um, as Mike said, I, I did get the opportunity the last race of the, of the year last year to actually jump behind the wheel and, and be in the cockpit. And uh, what a blast, what a blessing that was as well to get to live a, a childhood dream. Um, if I have to say anything about the series, is unlike any other division that I've been involved with, it is one of the best series, if not the best in my mind. You have just the camaraderie between drivers and everyone, and I'm sure you can back me up on this, Mike, everyone just willing to jump in and throw out any sort of knowledge that's out there because at the end of the day, it's not the car that truly beats you know the other drivers out there um, i could put the same setup on mike's car as we could put on alice's lance's whatever and we're still going to have three different finishes because it all comes down to the guy behind behind the wheel so to see everybody coming together uh jumping in helping out um uh, just the, the joking around and carrying on that goes on in the pits as well it's I, i've not seen it in in the other uh, divisions that I've worked in. I've seen more, uh, you know, throat grabbing than anything, unfortunately. Um, not saying that I was ever part of it, at least I can't confirm or deny. Um, but this series has, has been 
like I said, an absolute blessing being a part of it. We're so much looking forward to uh, going deeper into it this year, being more competitive. Uh, now that you know both these guys have their feet wet behind the wheel, um, we're gonna hopefully start pulling out more of them those top fives and uh, you know mate with the, the top three that we had last year. You know, hopefully we're gonna crack that number one spot uh, for for both these guys. But uh, the number one goal is uh, besides learning. Besides getting these guys better out there on the tracks, just you know, just having that fun, um, you know, not having the pressure on us like you do with some of those bigger divisions. It's 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 just it's like I said, it's fun. It's it's all it is. Yeah, and I'll, I'll kind of echo everything Andrew said there. I mean, uh, the ability to just go ask anyone um, in the group for uh, you know help on a particular issue we're having. Um, you know, we all are developing some of our strengths uh, around the car and tuning and, and various things. And uh, I keep telling Andrew, we can wake out, take over, manage us, we don't manage you. Uh, and, you know, uh, we should be wrenching where we need to be wrenching and staying away from the things that he's going to handle. And, uh, and so he's taught me an awful lot this year. Um, you know, looking forward to 2021. Um, you know, uh, obviously getting more competitive, but I think really getting to some tracks uh, repeatedly will be helping us. So looking at some old notes, uh, I need to increase my understanding of track conditions a little bit more um, and understanding changing, you know, lines with the car um, and some of the setup as well. And I know Nate is really uh, looking forward to, to getting that 300 up front a little bit more. Uh, I think he's desiring uh, in a year or so to maybe start uh, competing in the 500s as well. So we've got that, that decision down the road. But um, biggest thing right now is keeping this, so to speak, little guy in a 300 as long as he'll fit in it. Uh, and when he's ready to go to the 500, we'll, we'll be looking ahead to that. So um, not a whole lot of changes with the cars this year. We're running the same uh, hyper racing chassis that we ran last year. I can't say enough about hyper. Um, they hit all the th three criteria that I love, which is good customer service, local, and stuff's always available. And uh, so we're excited to have both uh, of the cars running hyper chassis. Um, you know, easy to get parts. Uh, Jason has been amazing at hyper, just kind of being a resource for us um, and getting to know him and, and building a friendship there as well. Um, honestly, beyond that, uh, we've got some similar sponsors to last year. Um, Emmanuel Church is back on board. Um, Overdrive Rides is back on board. Uh, Rucker Solutions, Computer Solutions is back with us. Um, uh, Riverside Landscape and Design and Emmanuel Church. Uh, and so uh, we're excited to have uh, those folks back on board with us. Uh, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to show the car a little bit more this year. Uh, we'd love to be able to do that. Um, it's fun to go out and meet people and ask, excuse me, answer questions. Um, and I really look forward to the opportunity to also maybe start to mentor some of the new people coming in. Uh, I understand we've got a pretty robust group coming in and uh, we don't know much. We're learning a lot. Andrew, like I said, is our, he's the brains of the operation as far as the cars go, uh, or, or as close as we have to it. Um, but honestly, uh, you know, I always like to help those coming in uh, behind uh, me, you know, to, to be comfortable right away and uh, to ask questions. And, uh, and if nothing else, I can direct them to the right person. Uh, chances are I won't have the answer and so I can point them in the right direction. Uh, Lance has been phenomenal. The entire team has been phenomenal uh, in running this series. And, uh, um, you know, sometimes in running a series, you don't always get the credit uh, that you deserve. but. Uh, we're thrilled to have Lance running this. And um, anything else? Anything else you wanted to? Um, I'm sure. I'm pretty excited for this upcoming season with the newer tracks that we're running and learning from the tracks that I ran last year to this year. Um, learning, learning the grooves more. Learning how to pass more, and just getting to know the newer tracks and the tracks that I ran last year. All right.